So the last time we did a Q&A session on this channel was 10 months ago, all the way back in June 2022, where this channel was actually only sitting at 6,000 subscribers. As you may have seen, the channel now has over 25,000 subscribers. Thank you to every single one of you who have subscribed to the channel, checked out the content, I greatly appreciate it. So in the comment section below, you again have the chance to ask me anything. Write your question down below and next week I'll put up a video answering every single question that you guys ask. Unless you ask some Something really fucked up. And we're also going to do a behind the scenes look at all of the analytics of the channel. So if you're interested in how the channel's grown, how much money I've made, anything like that, I'm going to do a full tour of that in this video too. So say thank you to every single patron who helps support the channel as well as the YouTube members. You know I can't do this without you guys. And let's see what the heck is going on with this channel. How did we get to 25,000 subscribers? So the craziest thing with YouTube growth and having done this now for over two years is that nothing is linear. You know when you do a normal job, normal work, more output equals more result. You can kind of exactly see what you're going to get if you put it in. If you show up for X amount of hours, you're going to get X amount of money. Everything works on a pretty linear path. With YouTube, it's the complete opposite. You can pound hours into work with absolutely no return, and then all of a sudden, boom, you can hit something. And the result from that single video or group of videos or whatever it is can outweigh everything else you've done, to be completely honest. Like, one video can be worth more than 50 you make, but you still have to make those 50 videos in in order to find that one video that does do all the results. At this point, I've gone viral a few times now, so, well, let's just start looking at some of the stats here. The explosion of the channel really did happen here in the last 90 days. You can see that about since early March all the way to sometime in late April here, the channel gained basically 9,000 subscribers. So like I said, I've been on YouTube for over two years now, and in the past 90 days, I gained 9,000 out of those 25,000 subs. And of course, views were also insane during that time. 9.5 million views only resulted in 9,000 subscribers. That's also kind of a crazy stat. I don't know if that's high or low view to conversion sub rate. A lot of that came from shorts views actually. So I assume shorts viewers are a lot less likely to subscribe after they view content. And that's when I was talking about the backlog as well. You need all of those other videos to also be good because if someone watches your single viral short, then they're going to get fed your other content. And if all of your other content sucks ass, then they're not going to to convert to an actual subscriber. But 9.5 million views last 90 days, if we just go to the entire channel lifetime here, the channel has about 17 million views total. So in the past 90 days, I got over half of all of the views I've ever gotten on YouTube. And if you look at my little time graph here, you can see there are two periods of massive growth on the channel where views just went crazy. This spike way back here is the first time I went viral with the Ms. Kiff video and the Majora's Mask video. I purchased this N64 game for $8,000. So that's the video there, the Majora's Mask gray demo where I showed that off. And the other one that actually went viral is the Ms. Kiff video. In this box, the problem with it is I thought it was my crown jewel box. It was my favorite thing in the world, but one- So I just chopped up that video, put myself in it because Ms. Kiff indirectly mentions me, and yeah, those two videos went crazy. The Ms. Kiff one got 2.8 million views, which amounted to 61 bucks. That's awesome. And the Majora's Mask one got 3.3 million views, which gave me 50 bucks. Then in the past 90 days though, since about early March all the way to late April, the channel was getting almost 100,000 views a day. And I know there's going to be a ton of you who do not watch my shorts content. You're not subscribed on TikTok. Imagine not being subscribed to Greg on TikTok, but there's going to be a bunch of you who just like don't see the growth of the channel because so much of it came from shorts that absolutely exploded, but my actual long form content still hasn't done that much. We'll talk about that more in a second. But with the shorts videos, you can see the channel actually peaked out in April at 450,000 views on a single day. Who knows if we'll ever get there again? I hope we do, but that is an absolutely staggering number of views on a day. There were three videos in this period that were absolutely crushing. This is now my most viewed video period. Uh, I'll just show you a little snippet here so you know which video it is. VGA refused to grade two of my factory sealed video games. But here's the thing. I was actually lucky enough to receive two of these forms. They cost me $30 each. Game has been recent. VGA refusing to grade by games actually became the number one video on my channel. And this video actually even earned a decent amount. That's 4 million views on a short $358. Not a great amount of money. Like that's 4 million views. That is absolutely insane. That's an insane number of views. So $358. Yeah, it's pretty solid, but I, I no one is consistently getting 4 million views unless your channel is massive. And this video alone was 2.5k subscribers, which 4 million views, only 2,500 subscribers,
subscribers? Like I said, the view to subscribe rate really isn't that great, so. And at this exact same time, this video here got 2.1 million. We finally get to see the results from our experiment. Four weeks ago, I made a video smashing open a water graded video game. So this was the video of me opening the water graded game, sending it back and seeing what grade I get. So that also got 2.1 million and another 2.7K subscribers. And then also the how much would it cost to buy your N64 games also almost got a million Nintendo views for game in 2023. So here's which is wild and resulted in another 1000 subscribers. For those curious about the lifetime YouTube earnings, uh the channel's made about $8200 so far. And a lot of that comes from insanely generous people who do give donations, the people who subscribe as YouTube members. Actual YouTube revenue outside of any kind of donation or anything like that is about $4400 and then everything that you guys help out with is the other 3700. It's almost a 50-50 between YouTube giving money for ads and you guys helping out the channel. And that's honestly crazy. I, I can't say thank you enough to anyone who's ever spent the time to donate, member, any of that stuff. So then are people watching more of the long form content? Do all of these shorts views actually correlate to more people viewing my longer content? And my answer would be not really. Like obviously some people are going to watch the shorts, subscribe to the channel, and then come check out the long form content. But as it stands, I would basically say I have two channels going on right now. There's Greg who makes shorts who's a pretty big deal. That guy has millions and millions of views. Short Greg is killing it out there. And then there's Long Greg, who's also doing really good. I, I don't take this as I'm not happy with my channel's success, but Long Greg doesn't see the same growth. I don't get stuck in the algorithm the same way. All of my long form videos get their initial viewership, their initial rates and all that stuff, and then they just die off. This is actually one of the best videos I've made in a long while. This was me commenting on Mr. Rightway getting his 3DS games graded. You can see 5.1K, that's 46% better than everything. Woohoo! If you were curious how much a long form video pays, 5,000 views on an eight minute video is 24 bucks. And if you look at the stats, I mean, I I know why the videos die. It's not like it's a secret. It's not like the algorithm's screwing me over here. It's an eight and a half minute video and people watch on average 57%. What are they watching? 50, 52% of the video, right? You can see on the nice little graph here, like it, it's not bad, but it's really hard with long form content to get this to be like 60, 70% of the video. So that's something I know I need to improve on. And that's like, you know, better editing, better storytelling, better hooks, all that generic stuff about how to make YouTube better. It's all easier said than done though. I'm sure if I click on this, right, this is a 33 minute video I uploaded going through my NES collection. Doing really good right now. So thank you guys. Glad that this video resonated. And if we go to how much people are watching, the average person's watching 34% of the video, which honestly isn't even bad. That's like better than I thought it would be. It's 11 minutes of the video. That's awesome. With these long form videos though, it's, it's just really tough to get people to watch like 80% of them. So as the channel stands here, May 17th, 2023, viewership is just going lower and lower as every day passes. And this is a natural ebb and flow. Your channel explodes and then you go back to a normal rate. So getting about 20,000 views a day right now for the past, I don't know, five days or so. The channel makes about anywhere from six to 10 bucks per day. Again, <laughs> YouTube itself doesn't actually pay anything unless you're a massive, massive channel. So, and honestly, I'm pretty happy with everything. If there's anything else you want to know about YouTube analytics, growing this stuff, please put the question down below. I'm happy to talk about it. I look forward to what you guys ask in the Q&A. Hit the like button before you go. Subscribe to the channel. Why not, right? Be one of the first 100,000. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.